Hey guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. I want to show you my go-to King James Prayer Bible, Memory Verse Bible, and um, I call them life words, and um, just show you what I'm doing with this. I'm always um, telling myself, oh, I'm not going to decorate a Bible, and then I get into it and I can't resist it, but this one's kind of fun on the end. Look at this. I like to try different things, so this one has like these little pom-poms. And hey, if I take it to church, it'd be fun, right? <laughs> my husband would be like, Ruthie, that's so embarrassing. Intercession Bible, my prayer Bible, and memory verse Bible, life words Bible. So um, let me start by showing you this. I like to use symbols in my prayer Bible. I don't want to put people's names in it in my Bible because if I decide to get a different Bible and uh, then I don't have all the, the codes and then I put these same codes in all my Bibles. So, but I'll show you a little flip through. I usually like if I find something I like, I put it in my Bible. So I like this picture of this dog. I keep things handy that I like and just put them in there. Makes it cheerful. And... I like this cat. It reminds me of my cat, Ethel. She's outside today. We're working on construction, so the house is all messy. But So I put this in here, so if I look, it's like, oh, there's Ethel. And then just a little coaster I found. And let's see. Oh, I got our weight loss chart in here. That way it's handy. <laughs> so I'll just um, grab this prayer Bible. And I have symbols, which I don't have as, as many in this one right now which, um, as I want. So I'll just grab and I like might find a scripture and then I'll pray over somebody that, in that symbol. Probably more in the Psalms, but here's another picture. There's a false. I like to draw too, so let's see. How come I can't see anything? Everything's like, I'm not showing you any good pages. There's, there's another picture. It looks like my cat. All right, like here would be like a life word, and uh, what I'll do is I'll try to memorize it and meditate on it. Meditating meaning think about it. Um, this one was the life word for three, two, eight, uh, twenty-eight, twenty-two. So what I'll do is I'll start to memorize like the whole chapter. It's because I figured Bible study is my hobby. It's my lifelong hobby. I'll just like memorize this verse and kind of build on it and memorize this verse and this verse and this verse all the way down. So once I memorize like the first one, like I have a whole big book of them. Let me see if I can show it to you. Like these, this is my book of them. So like I'll memorize the verse and then when I go through this, once I memorize this one, I'll go to the next verse in it. So I'll just keep flipping through and I keep adding to them. So I'm like working down and out. It's kind of weird. Don't look at my mess over there. Whole house is messy from the remodel. And uh, I wanted to show you some symbols in this Bible. It shows you got to pray more. I use in my Bible. It's good to pray using your Bible. Sometimes you run around working so you're not always grabbing your Bible. But where are the symbols? Probably in Psalms. I need to write some more in here. It just shows you. So I brag on my prayer Bible and I can't find the symbols on it. So anyway. Let's see getting more life words. Life words. So I call my memory verses. Boy, I'm feeling... Uh, oh, yeah, I use names, too, for people. Like, these are two people, John and Aquila, I like, and Luke. Um, so, like, like I might use a symbol, or I might have a, a code name, too, for people, too. So, there's one. And, let's see, there's more Susie, Aquila, uh, Maya, John. These are people I'm praying this verse, which is... But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. So when I just grab my prayer Bible, if I see these verses and as I'm reading, um, I can just, and like I said, if I'm reading in other versions of the Bible, I can, because I like to read through several versions a day. And I might have that symbol in that Bible too. But uh so you can see that I have that. 
so here's some more. This is, I'm trying, these are the symbols. Paul, these are some of the symbols that I have for other people. Um, but whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful here, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. So maybe I might be praying for someone like um, that I want them to, you know, be blessed and look at the word more. Or if any among you seems to be religious and brittle, not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. So maybe praying um, on someone that maybe they're going through, um, you know, they're trying to control their tongue. And uh, just that's how I like to use these. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. My hubby just came in because we're doing the remodel. But I wanted to share that with you. Um, how's it going out there, dear? Going good? My oh, yeah. Well, anyway. Oh, yeah, because it's warm out there. Um, so we'll see you guys. Let me see my husband. There's my husband. We're doing the, see the rough? We're getting everything fixed up. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so this is my prayer Bible. Pray for me. I will see this is good to look through this too because it looks like I need to be grabbing my Bible more when I pray, right? So anyway, you know, it's always good to pray the word and uh, to get, you know, to know, know it like the back of your hands. And so um, here you go, my prayer Bible. Grab a prayer Bible. This one I got at Walmart for like $12 or something, I think. And I like this, this size. It's really handy to read and stuff. And uh, they have several different versions. But um, this is the King James. I was kind of raised on the King James. But So anyway, there's my prayer Bible. And um, oh yeah, I also have, um, I was also starting to write the life words in the front, but I had too many. <laughs> so I said, well, I just, I have a this little notebook that I put them in. Sorry about the mess, guys. So remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.